Hey guys, it's Tyler Gaming Stage, bringing you a uh, part three of episode two. Mm -hmm. This, I mm -hmm. think, this is part three of episode two of Batman Telltale, and we are still Batman. <laughs> Bruce, I need to talk to you. Stacked deck, six p.m. No capes, no suits either. This is the first time I've seen Bruce Wayne out of a suit or without the Batman outfit. It's a bar. It's called the Stacked Deck. This is a biker bar. Even when I'm like not wearing a suit. Oh yeah, people. People still. Oh, people don't think I'm Bruce Wayne because why would Bruce Wayne come to a bar like this? You lost? Cause I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Flash some cash at her. Flash money like that in here, you better be ready to fight. I got customers who knife a man for less. Sonia Kyle, where is she? Hey, don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Nice to meet you. Will. Frank. Yeah. Funny seeing you here. So much in the papers. Whole other thing, meeting the man in real life. Yeah. You're uh, shorter than I thought you would be. Leave him alone, huh? Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. I would have talked to him. Seems like a decent gentleman. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, that's his criminal. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm the dead penguin. Anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly, you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's That's where he got the British accent. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Huh. Well, I'm not sticking around here to fight. History out. reference. Oswald. Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. So we you expect Catwoman to become a good guy now? That's your choice. If Penguin is everything you say, there's no tree high enough for you to climb. He will find you. So what are you suggesting? The bat helps the cat. And the cat helps the bat. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. I'm sorry, why are, why are we talking about Harvey? He's your friend, isn't he? Just seeing how much of a conscience you really have. You and I... Are me and Catwoman about to fuck? <laughs> Is that Seamus? Holy shit, that looks like Seamus. Well, Bruce, you were right. Salute Kyle. Penguin says, Allo. Allo.
Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. Let's just fight it. That is Seamus. Pretty good. Oh, they got knives now. Doesn't matter, we're too good. Oh, Dream Street. Put him through the picnic table. Not p picnic table, pool table. Or just slam his head against it. That will also work. Not done yet. Come on. Back to back. I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Did I just like pull a Goku and use my power pool? Now I have two. The fighting in this game, it's simple. It's effective and it's fun. Even though all of the fighting scenes are just like quick time events, it's it's quite enjoyable. Pretty damn good. You fight pretty good for such a pretty boy. And the cops are here, and I'm Bruce Wayne. That's not good at all. Come on, this way. Quick, check the alleyway. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Negative. Let's check the other side. They didn't really look that hard, did they? Are we alone? Are we fixing the fuck? Yeah, we're, we're alone. Oh yeah. Now Ooh. we got morals. We, we should go. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. All right. Uh, processing it now. Wasn't that phone a lot bigger earlier? Cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here, all from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. 
Hill is setting me up. Penguin's gonna take a shot at me. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. That was Bruce Wayne. Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. So, in the next episode, we're going to visit Mayor Hill. I'll see you then.